Hi friends, Mindy here. I have a process video today working through day five of Fear the Lord from By the Well for God. And today I'm going to be using this pattern paper that you can get to coordinate with the devotional kit. And I'm going to be using that as the background in my journaling Bible. As you can see, the six by eight paper, which is the paper that I have, is just not quite tall enough to cover um, top to bottom in this um, journaling Bible. So I am just going to kind of piece some other little scraps together with this piece and just to make it so that it will fit from the very top to the very bottom. You could very easily just leave a little bit of white space if you wanted to and I have done that in the past but um, for today I just kind of wanted to do it all in one um, one piece so you can see I have a little bit down there at the bottom I'll have to add some green down there at the bottom and I save all of my scraps when I am working through um, a devotional kit so here is one of the pieces that I used when I was cutting out all of the tags for my tag ring and it just happens to have like the perfect amount of little strip of green there that I'm going to need down here at the bottom and it will just totally complete that um, area and it actually makes it fit perfectly so I was very lucky in that way but that's why I save my scraps because you just never know when you're just gonna need a little little bit of something so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some washi tape and just attach this on the back side. Um, I could glue it down all at one time, but I'm going to be doing some stamping, and so it's just easier if I can work outside of the Bible. Um, the Bible's kind of lumpy just from having other pages and stuff in it, and um, so I'm going to be using some other things, so it's just going to be easier to do that. So you can see me here just um, gluing these two pieces together. Well kind of holding them in place with this washi tape and that will work until I get everything glued down permanently inside the margin of that Bible. So I want to do some stamping. You can see here now it fits um, perfectly from the top to the bottom. So I think that this paper to me just kind of reminds me of sunsets and so I'm going to use this tree line down here in the kind of green area of this paper and I was getting ready to stamp it and then I realized that my just the other day in the mail I got my stamp positioning tool um, I saw Taryn with one of these and I've been wanting one for a while so I finally splurged this one is from Stampin Up I really liked this one because it has two different um, plates that you can use so I'm just going to be setting up my paper here inside this stamp positioning tool if you've never seen these, these are great because you can um, put your paper down and it has these magnets to hold it in place. And then I'm putting the stamp on the clear part and then I'll be able to keep everything in place in case I need to stamp it twice and I'll be able to get it in exactly the same spot, which is ends up being exactly what I needed to do. So I was glad that I had this tool um, because my stamping didn't come out very well the first time around so I moved the stamp over just a little bit so that that first tree would kind of be hanging off of the edge um, I just wanted it to sort of hang off the edge of the page so you can see here I'm using VersaFine um, in onyx black the ink here and I'm just applying it across the stamp and I guess I just missed like one little area of applying some pressure here because when I pull this up you'll see it just didn't stamp very well so I'm just holding the paper in place because that stamp is really kind of sticky so I'm just kind of going in and putting some more ink there and I'm just gonna stamp it a second time and paying attention to where I missed it the first time here and then I'm just again holding that in place and you can see now it you, no one will ever know except you know whoever watches this but anyway you can see on the right side there's a little bit of opening so I'm just gonna move my stamp over and so I'm positioning it where I want it to stamp on the page and then I'll close the platform and it will pick up the stamp and then I can ink that up and I'm just inking up that you know one little edge that I'm gonna need and then um, that will get my stamp so that it basically runs off of the either edge so 
I just really liked that particular look. So there was a one little area where um, it didn't kind of stamp very well. So I just used a, a Sharpie, well, it's a micron marker, and just kind of filled in the area. And you can't tell because it's just a black silhouette. So here I have this, um, this title that is one of the digital papers that you can get. And it says, um, with all your heart, soul, and mind. And I was trying to figure out how I wanted to work with that. And so you're going to see me kind of pushing that around my page for a little while. And so I couldn't decide what to do. So right here, I went ahead and just tried to keep some forward momentum going. So I'm just going to highlight some of the verses that were mentioned in the devotional, uh, which is um, chapter six, verses one and two. And then I think four and through six, I ended up highlighting all the way to nine because it's where Moses is talking about, you know, training your children and talking about the things when you're awake and when you're in the way and, you know, just giving them some instruction about keeping the fear of the Lord in the forefront of your mind all of the time. And so, um, I just added a few little extra verses there that I wanted to focus on. So I'm going through my clear stickers here because I want to also include the Hebrew word, uh, Shema, I believe is how it said, um, that means here and I want that to be kind of the focus um, I'm going to take some notes here in this margin and so I wanted to I was thinking about stamping it but I didn't have quite enough space so I'm going to use those alpha stickers that you can get that coordinate with the kit and now I'm just going through all my journaling cards trying to decide which one of these I want to use to for my notes so I'm going back and forth I thought I was going to use this blue one uh, this blue library card, but in the end I went with one of the journaling cards and this is just the back side of it. So I'm using those clear alpha stickers and I'm going to use, um, to write out the word Shema. And then right here, I'm just cutting it down just a little bit. I wanted it to be square, more like the, um, library cards were. So I'm just, I just cut it down and now I'm just rounding the corners and then I'm going to go back and finish putting the stickers down and then I will write out some of the notes from the devotional content about what this word means and um, that it's not just you know hearing in the sense that you're you know acknowledging that words are being spoken but it requires really action and understanding and obeying what is being said it's not just enough to hear the words you need to obey them so just making some notes here and um and you'll see I'll just keep kind of refocus you know repositioning everything trying to get everything where I want it to on this page so now I'm back um with this title and this came as a sticker um or I printed it on clear sticker paper but it was one of the digital elements and I cut it in half because of the way that it was like it was designed to read vertically but it was next to each other I can't it, it was anyway, I was having a hard time just with the way the typography was on this particular one, which is just a mental block of my own. So what I did is I decided to cut it down the middle so that when you read it down, it reads with all your heart, soul, and mind, but I wanted to make it sort of blend in. So I have this white shipping tag. And so I'm going to adhere these down so that it reads vertically. And then, um, and it looks like it has like a watercolor kind of wash behind it. So I'm going to take advantage of that. And I'm using my watercolor dot card that has the Daniel Smith watercolors. And I'm going to take two of those colors and kind of extend that color across the tag. So here I'm just using a bone folder to make sure I have those stickers um, stuck down really well. It just helps them um, kind of helps get that rid of that haze that you can kind of get sometimes with clear stickers. So. Anyway, I'm just going to get a little mat here so that I can watercolor on this tag. And I am using the, there's a green color and then there's um, Payne's gray. And so I'm just very lightly adding some color on this tag to kind of mimic the way that the watercolor is behind this title. And I'm just very, I'm not using a whole lot of water because these tags don't, are obviously not watercolor paper they're um, basically cardstock and so 
I didn't want it to start pilling up or whatever. And I'm just trying to make it look like it's one cohesive piece. And then I will add the um, flash card that says love on it with the verse. And that's going to kind of make my title for this page. So now it says love and then with all your heart, mind, and soul. Or heart, soul, and mind, I guess. And now I have um, pulled out my tile alphas. You can get these. They also coordinate with the kit. And I'll be using those to indicate that this is day five. Um, and first, I'm just kind of rearranging everything as is kind of, <laughs> kind of the way I work through things. At this point, I decided I should just go ahead and adhere this down now. So I'm using my um, Scotch ATG glider here. And this is really sticky adhesive and so I want to make sure that it's like from edge to edge because I'm basically adding a page right in the margin so um, I'm just adhering that down here and then when I add um, when I added the stamping down at the bottom the part of the silhouette of the tree line went right across that line where that green paper was added and my title is going to come right across the top where um, where the pinks are together and so it really kind of covers up the fact that there's a seam right there so this I think this is how everything is going to live on my page so I just am adding some adhesive only to the left side of this card because I want to be able to lift it up still so that I'm not covering up the words of the Bible but that's personal preference um, whenever possible I try to keep them so that I can keep reading it um, this isn't my study Bible or anything like that, but I just, it's just personal preference. Everybody, everybody's different. I just try to, um, leave it so that I can at least read it in one way or the other. But like I said, that's just personal preference. So now I'm going to be using these tile alphas here to write out day five, just trying to decide where I want to put that. I like to include that, um, on each of my entries. Some, otherwise I kind of forget. <laughs> which day went with what so and then I'm going to adhere down my little notes here just kind of right above the tree line in that open area I had considered writing it just directly on the page but I decided I would do better if I had something that had lines on it because I can't really write in a straight line so now I'm going to make some extra notes here in my tag ring and I'm using the same paper and I have this printed vellum that's got some stripes in it. So what I'm going to do is use um, that. I'm going to adhere that down. And I'm going to be using this little card that came um, with the kit as, as well. And But I'm going to be sewing on this. So I'm just adding some adhesive. Obviously, um, I wouldn't do this except that I'm going to be putting that one piece on top of it. And I'm really just doing it to kind of hold it together while I'm running this through my little sewing machine. This is another new little toy that I got. It's just a desktop sewing machine. It only does one kind of stitch or whatever. I got this at Hobby Lobby. Um, and I'm a, a novice at sewing. I'm like very, very new to it. I just like the texture that it brings. So what I'm going to do is as best as I can, I'm going to run a stitch all the way around this tag. Um, I, it's not perfect, but it's, it's good enough for me. So, um, that's what it looks like when it's all together. I just have white thread in there and here in the corner where I started and stopped, I'm just going to tie those two, um, sections together in a little knot. And then I'm going to purposely leave some of the thread hanging off of it. I just really like the texture and the tactile elements like that. So. And here I'm going to glue this on the front. And this talks about um, instructing um, in, the, in the Lord. And so I'm going ahead and I'm adding this little note. This was also um, from By the Will for God. And I'm just referencing the, the scriptures back in Deuteronomy. And then um, this I'm just going to glue down. And I'll put this right over where I had that liquid adhesive. So it covers all of that up so no one's the wiser um and then the stitching is keeping everything keeping that vellum kind of held down and I used one of the 
clear stickers that's just that same um, flower, that kind of line drawn flower on the front there to kind of finish that off. And then on the back side, I have written out the other scripture in Mark where Jesus is basically quoting that same section of scripture that you should love the Lord with all your heart and soul and mind and strength. And so I wrote that up out at the top here and now I'm just using another one of the clear stickers just to give this backside just a little bit of some interest and then I'm going to write some notes down here in this section. One of them is a, a quote from the devotional that talks about that, you know, a fear, some, a fear of the Lord is acknowledging that he is the Lord of your life above everything else and I just wrote some other notes on the back and then that is the last part of my little tag so I'm going to stick that back in my ring and that is my entry for today in my ring book and in my bible so if you like this video I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and until next time bye bye